What's up, guys? It's Moose 78, and welcome back to more American Truck Simulator. This is my Let's Play series, Stories from the Road. I do this every Tuesday and Thursday. We are here in Elko, Nevada. We're going to run over to Walbert, pick up a Wabash dry van, headed down to Camp Verde, Arizona. So this should make a nice, good, long run for us. And if you're looking to get caught up on any of the past episodes, uh, links for the playlist are down in the video description. So be sure to check those out. And if you're new to the channel and not already subscribed, please consider doing so now. And be sure to check out the video's description for some other good links and everything. Of course, uh, like I said, the Stories from the Road playlist is down there. Gameplay playlist is down there. Affiliate link for my no-scope gaming glasses is down there as well, so be sure to check all that good stuff out. But we are on episode number 25 today, guys. How about that? a little bit long last episode. We'll try to keep this one just a little bit shorter. Don't know that we'll make it all the way down to Camp Verde today. That's okay. Take a look at the truck on the outside. Looks pretty good at night, though. Gotta admit that. This, of course, is a contracted run, so we just gotta pull in, hook up, and get going. Good place for those barrels. Make sure we miss those. Maybe we'll get it on the first try. Don't think so, though. Quite a ways off. Still shaking off the rust a little bit. Been grinding out the division pretty hard and heavy over the last week or so. Haven't really touched ATS much at all during that time. And it's kind of showing just a little bit. That's all right. We'll get the rust knocked off. We'll get back in the groove and be good to go. Pull up all the way here, get a good clean. Good clean shot at it. That should be good. How's everyone doing today, by the way? Hope you're doing all fantastic. Can't be that far off. So we need 
take a look. Yeah, it looks like it's pretty much right on. Yeah. Don't know if it's because the wall bash is a minor trailer or what, but seems a little tricky to get hooked up sometimes. Good and hooked up, so yep. Get heading south down to Arizona. It doesn't look like anything's coming. I'm gonna hop out. Good to go. Your gate back there. Suns are coming up, looks pretty. Looks all sorts of pretty. Good clean start so far. Beautiful scenery. Drive off the road. So we are heavy again. And we're limited to 65 mile an hour with this contract, like we were the last one. So I'm just going to set the cruise. I'm actually going to back out of the cruise. And okay. So the last episode is we came up with a way station pretty much like right at the last second it kind of gave us the warning to pull in, so. Seems like, seems like it's kind of hit or miss. Some of them, they've got a little bit better, but that one that was, I don't know if that's one that uh, is part of the MHA map. Beautiful looking morning. Sun coming up over the mountains. Trucking down the interstate. Don't get much better than that.
That worked out good. Beauty. Beauty, eh? I've taken some of the advice uh, from some of the community members on how to improve some of my driving skills. Worked out pretty good there. Now, if we can just improve the AI, we're good to go. we go out here one of the toolies going down to Camp Verde Arizona got our Wabash dry van of packaged food of course still in the W900 much with it lately I need to though need to mess around with the t680 a little bit wouldn't mind to get back into that I do want to do some more stuff to the w900 though and do a, a public release of this that's gonna be down the road just a little bit nice truck stop there probably should have stopped and got some fuel but that's okay we'll get it eventually we won't run out but no, I do want to do a public release of this, do a couple uh, additional things to it. Get that out to everyone. stock uh, stock frames to that that way people have a choice of either the short frame or the long frame turn coming up here car didn't see me there. Kind of hard to miss. I could have stopped there and got fuel, but I want to want to see what's up ahead. I think my favorite truck stop so far on the MHA map is the one there in Coachella. If you've not checked that out yet, definitely check that out.
those are the kind of truck stops I'd love to see SCS implement into the game. One thing I did see on the MHA map though, does it look like they're going to do many updates between now and the next uh, big SES map update? And that kind of makes sense. Not knowing what they're going to do to the map as far, you know, in terms of the rescale and things like that. Probably best not to put a lot of time into this version of it, knowing it's going to change big time in the next couple months anyway. But, uh, yeah, if you guys haven't checked out the MHA map though yet, I would highly recommend that. And it never fails, always catch the train. It's alright though, we'll put it back down in the basement and start all over. be nice once SES does get the new map done. I'm going to make it get too wound up here because we've got a turn coming up. And we'll put it back to some side for now though. But it's going to be nice because we're going to have a lot longer travel distances between cities. So that that's going to be nice. Get these towns and cities spread out a little bit more. That way we can just hop, hop out on the highway and just drive. back down to the two lanes so merge on over be with low as we pull up this hill see if we got to drop back down into seven low I think we'll be okay like a champ fuel mileage back up a little bit too all the way down to 6.3 I know it's uh, I think the best it was is about six seven six eight thereabouts out of 65 because of the contract of course but that's okay i like pulling the contracts just because how it updates the world of trucks and everything like that so it's kind of cool to look at your stats and see how you're doing and so forth It'd be nice if we could somehow incorporate the uh, freight market into that as well 
so that way you can just kind of look at your overall performance and not just uh, contracts and so forth like that. just could have went around because I didn't realize that. Stay in low gear for now. Let's see. It's still doing okay on fuel. Keep pushing on, see if we can't find a truck stop or something like that. sounds as you shift through the gears and everything. Take a look at the map here real quick, see what we got coming up. Probably going to want to stop here at this little this little stop here. Put a marker on that. That way I don't forget and miss it. Because it doesn't look like the next thing is till we get down into Vegas. And I don't want to try to push my luck. Going all the way from Piochi. All the way down to Vegas. So we're on about a quarter tank of fuel. Looks like our little fuel stops just up the road here. Okay, yeah, nice little truck stop. Part of the MHA map, so definitely like this stuff.
So the engine hop out here and take a look at the truck as we fuel up. And one thing I also did to the W9 is I put HUD caps on the wheels, just kind of change it up, mix it up a little bit. So you're looking at the thing there, it looks like this is going to be about the perfect opportunity to stop and take a break as well. Truck hop in Jack's Cafe there, grab a bite to eat, grab a snooze, and get back after it. And those are ducks ahead. in here like everybody else. Alright guys, that is going to wrap it up for episode number 25 of Stories of the Road. Thanks for tuning in and watching and supporting. I really do appreciate it. If you liked today's video, go ahead and give it a like and a share. This helps me out a bunch, helps the channel grow. And if you're new to the channel and are not already subscribed, please consider doing so now. But until the next one guys, take care and we'll be seeing you. Hey guys, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed this video. Please take a moment and subscribe to my channel. Also, if you want to follow me over on the Twitters, click on the link in the description. And if you're looking for great gaming gear at an affordable price, click my NoScope affiliate link also down in the description. And if you want more ATS content, click on the video to check out my Stories from the Road playlist. Thanks, and we'll catch you in the next one.